Hello everyone, I am Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Part 30 whatever. I think it's 34, it may be 35. I know last time we did the Unova Gym Leader rematches, aka Clay beat my ass for 25 minutes. Uh yeah, that was not very fun. Uh that was about a week ago. Off screen, I didn't do too much. I basically, I did a couple more areas of the Black Tower. I think I'm on area 8 now. So we're getting close to the end of that. Um, pretty much we're only going to show the last area of that because it's pretty tedious. So there's no real point in showing all of it. Because it's just lots of... It's really weird because the normal trainers you fight, like their levels aren't adjusted. They're the same as what they were supposed to be in the base game. But the area leaders are like high 90s and they use legendary Pokemon. And so they're actually pretty difficult, so maybe I pr if I hadn't of, uh, already done so much of it off screen, what I probably would have done in retrospect is have shown off at least the last, like, f several of the area leaders, because they are fairly hard fights, because they, but they only have teams of four, so they're not, basically, even though their Pokemon are strong and higher level than us, we kind of win just by, the, by having two extra Pokemon to throw out. But I don't want to ramble too much because we need to go ahead and get started because we have a lot to do in this video, uh, hopefully. First things first, we are going to... There's a battle in a old Undella town. It's a familiar battle from the last game. It's the dang old Synthers. What's this? What's your name? Okay, I'll remember that. Jeez, I think it's the exact same dialogue from the first game. I'm Cynthia. I'm a Pokemon trainer too, like you. I have an insatiable curiosity for researching Pokemon myths. I'm sure you know about Undella Bay's abys abyssal. I was gonna say abysmal ruins. Abyssal ruins, right? I'm staying here at my friend's villa so I can investigate them. In order to get to know each other better as Pokemon trainers, I would like to have, a, have like our Pokemon have a match. Would you care to be my opponent? Yes. Even though I just realized that I didn't get anything to drink for this video, so yeah. So I don't know if this is just like a re like version, like just re adding the uh, the fight from the original game. Or if this is actually in base black and white too, I'm not not entirely sure, because I mean that was the exact same dialogue as uh, the original game. So her Pokemon are like mid 90s, so we're about evenly matched. Hopefully we won't get destroyed. I didn't really think about the fact that she leaves a spirit team. I think we're just gonna try and brute force her down with old Tambora here. I mean, that shouldn't do that much. That shouldn't do that. Oh, I get flamed, nerd. Better have burn heal in effect. Is that leftovers? Okay, so... That... That's kind of bad, because I think he'll live with, like, 1 HP and then get a full restore. The burn might take him out, actually. Okay, never mind. Him board just, uh, dusted him. Okay, bringing out the big guns right off the bat. Uh, you do still know Ice Punch, so that's always an option. I think what we'll do is we'll see if Aurora can take him out. Uh, see if she can, or he, can live through a dang old whatever. Probably a Stone Age is probably what he's going to go for. Sword Stance. Let me guess, he has a Focus Sash? He probably has a Fairy, actually. Yeah. I mean, it's still gonna hurt. It's not gonna kill? Well... Ice all the crit. Okay, well, this fight's, uh... That kind of simplified things, getting the free crit there. Who do we want to do? I mean, Aurora's still actually pretty good with Earth Power. There's also dang old Tambora. And Odette. I don't remember what the rest of her team is. I think it's the same as it was in the last game, but I mean, that's been like six months ago, and I didn't really look when I was looking up where to fight her. I don't think Aurora's... I don't think she has any more dragon types, so I'm just going to bank on not needing Aurora, and we do still have... I think Tyranitar still knows Dragon Claw, because I forgot to delete that, but I'm not entirely sure. It's just Earth Power. Close combat... That... I don't know if that'll kill us. We might live with a little bit. Nope. 
Oh, we get the Rocky. Does he have a life orb? Yeah, he does have a life orb. Dude, I'm not really a fan of just every Pokemon has a life orb in this game. That's, it's a pretty, I, I don't know, that, that's a little lazy to me, I will say that much. Because it wasn't like that in the first place, Black. Like, typically, a t like they would only have like one Pokemon with a life orb. So how do we want to do this? Uh, Aurora... I mean, we can try 181. 200. I think we're going to send out Odette. Because I think an Air Slash? No, wait, wait, wait. We should probably Surf with an... Uh, wait, shit, I'm trying to remember. Does Steel resist water? I think it does? Or does water resist steel? Maybe that's what it is. I think water maybe resists steel, actually. Let's just try it. Because the steel should negate his flying weakness. So air slash should do less damage than us. Or maybe it's, okay, it seems like it didn't matter. So it is that water resists steel. So Roserade? Um, we could probably take that out with a debt. Actually, we should have sent out a uh, Cheshire. Keshire would have destroyed him with a dang old psychic. So Cynthia's a joke. I um, mean, it's not really her fault that her Garchomp got crit by an Ice Beam. Because really, I think it's basically that, that's her team right there. Oh, we could live. That'll probably kill us. We might actually live. I don't know. Dude, Tambora is ice cold. Well, actually, he's not ice cold. He's the very opposite of ice cold. But he is just, he's so good at living with one HP. Oh, I thought, I thought he was going to crit and just take him out. So what does she have left? Is she has two Pokemon left? Dude, we're not, even have to, we're not even having to use our secret weapon idea, man. My Lotic. Um, it's probably best to just sacrifice Tambora. Get the Thunderbolt off. My Lotic's not going to be faster. Okay. <laughs> well... I, didn't, I mean, I knew Milotic was, like, not a slow Pokemon, but I don't remember she, her, if she was fast or not. You would think I remember considering Milotic's, like, a top five Pokemon for me. I never really get to use it that often, though, because, well, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get sometimes. Um... Hmm... I think we Cheshire into Odette. I don't think Cheshire will be able to kill. But I think, oh, I should have Thunderbolted. Like, subconsciously, I knew there was a reason I was sitting out Cheshire, but I forgot that he actually knew Thunderbolt. No, I'll, okay. Thank you, game. I mean, you could have just Hydro Pumped me, but... Or Scalded. I'm pretty sure if, if Shadow Ball did that much, Thunderbolt should kill. Oh, okay. I was like, we might live with like one HP, but Togekiss, that's also a Cheshire special. When was the last time I was driven into a corner like this? I don't know, six months ago when I played this game last. Ah, okay. Well, I was so much for the absolutely dusted. Yo, that Stitcher Spray healed, like, for way too much. Also, why does Togekiss have a Stitcher Spray? Way? Yo, do you think Togekiss is going to be able to sweep us? I mean, we still, we do have Sucker Punch Special, but... I don't... We got, there's no, Togekiss can't take out any. Well, or a spear, maybe, actually. I don't think it can take out Odette. Unless, actually, maybe, I think it has Thunder, maybe it looks like there's Thunderbolt. I know it can learn Thunderbolt. Oh, uh, Odette's faster. Get wrecked. Wait, what? Okay, well, Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch Express will take him out. Okay, apparently he does not know Thunderbolt. 
That did like a lot more damage than I would have thought it would have. I guess you don't actually resist flying type moves though. My heart is pounding so hard because I had such a heated battle with you. Really, it's not because Tambora like dusted half your team with by being a literal volcano. That was beyond my expectation. What an exceptional battle. I love being here in spring and summer. I can't stay all year because there's so much to investigate in Sinnoh as well. You're a great trainer. It would make me happy to see you again sometime. Okay, so I for so she's only here in spring and summer. Well, that's good. Cause I didn't entirely know that. I just like because the document just says she's here. So it may, I don't know if it actually has that restriction or not. But it is in fact summer. Technically it's actually not summer in real life. It's still spring. Because I'm recording this on June 18th. And typically it's like the what? The 20, 21st is when things actually officially become summer. So what do we have to do next? Well I think the next thing on the agenda for today is a much harder fight back over in Isra City. Or at least what I think is going to be much harder. So... Actually, one second. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I had to go get a beverage, and it was also getting really hot because the air would not turn on, so I had to do that. And I was starting to eh, sweat. So I have no clue where the dude we're looking for actually is. Um, I maybe should have looked that up. I just know they're in Nisra City. Oh, there they are. This is a uh, is dang old, dang old Stephen and Wallace. Dang old, dang old Stephen and Wallace. Uh, how do we want to do this? Uh, it's maybe not the best lead. Actually, no. We should lead with someone else. Do the Glen Cheshire special. Yeah, let's try that. Watching you know, people adore their Pokemon is an enriching experience, isn't it? You look like a very strong trainer. Would you be interested in battling? My friend and I? Fantastic. We'll show you the meaning of a champion title. Hey, we've got one of those. So this is a double battle against Steven and Wallace. So since we couldn't do the Hoenn... Uh, oh my god, he's... They're just throwing out the fucking big guns right off the bat. Damn. Since we, oh wow, they're a little bit higher level than I thought. Since we couldn't, since there was no real point in doing the Hoenn Gym Leader rematches, I figured we should do this. I didn't realize that they were this strong though. Uh, let's focus on taking out Wallace's Pokemon. I think. I think a, I think a Thunderbolt plus a dang old Poison Jab should finish off my loading. Hydro Pump? Oh, you fool. So now we just have to hope that Metagross doesn't absolutely destroy us. He's probably going to Earthquake, which will destroy Glenn. Meteor Mash. Goodbye, Cheshire. It was nice knowing you, where you have been disintegrated. Hmm. How do we want to take out Metagross? Well, we can't really... What do you know again? I can't remember. Did we reteach you? We did reteach you Earthquake. Okay. Good to know. There's Aurora, who has Earth Power. Hmm. I didn't really look up what their team was. I should have actually led with Tambora to dead. No, because Tambora... Let's see if we can take out Wallace's Pokemon first. I think we're going to focus on them. Because then we, if we can turn it into a 2v1... Or a kind of a 2v1, then I think we're pretty good. I think we Sucker Punch Starmie and then follow up with a Grass Knot. Earth power doesn't hit. Yeah, okay, it doesn't. Just making sure we could Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball's actually probably better here. Because Starmie's not that heavy. Now that's probably not gonna kill, but yeah, just barely lived. Goodbye, Toxicroak. No, there's a, yeah, there's no way he lives. Maybe? No. Hmm. Ugh, that's not good. Please, Aurora, no! Well, we're getting a tiny amount of chip damage on Metagross. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to send out Hedia. Uh, no, 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 no. How do I, how do I switch you back? 
No shit. That's. I was thinking I could like go back on sending out an idea. Okay, so we got Sandstream. Basically, Tambora needs to need. We need quick water proc. We can go for the Crunch. Crunch will maybe kill. Quick Claw. Oh, he's full restoring. Um. Don't know. That should still kill. Cause I mean, if Shadow Ball almost killed, nah, he's probably gonna still be in the red. Yeah. Idea. No. Yeah. So we. I think we've lost. His Pokemon Row. I think maybe leaving Metagross alive was not the correct choice. I also wasn't expecting him to, you know, be with Metagross or Milotic. Okay, so we know... So you Tailwind. So we know you're faster, so then you uh, blow up on their ass, okay? Uh, I guess I should have... Of course they should have... They have their own... Uh... That's kind of weird. The Steven only used a high... Wait, well, why are you faster? Excuse me? Oh, because he full restored last time. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a doomy. I'm not very smart. Yeah, that was not the correct play. I should have. So we only took out two of his Pokemon. Well, that, okay, so next time we need to try and take out Metagross instantly, which just means we're going to lead with the Dia and Odette and just go for the Earthquake. Because Metagross is too powerful to leave alive like that. Especially with that dang old... I mean, we're going to take out Wallace's Pokemon. I mean, Wallace, joke champion, right? I mean, Steven... Actually, technically, Wallace is harder than Steven. Because uh, Steven uses some, some wonky-ass Pokemon. But... Steven's definitely cooler. He's got the cooler team, and he's just a cooler individual than Wallace. It always, it always annoyed me in Emerald that, like, they replaced Steven as champion. Because Steven's, like, the coolest champion, in, in my opinion. He's just, I don't know, he's, he's got something about him. Because, well, I mean, well, Cynthia's also pretty cool. It's probably... Actually, I don't, I don't know. The, the first, like, four champions are all great. And then you've got Alder, who's just, like, an old man who's all washed up. And... He's, he's, I'm not really a big fan of him. And you got Iris in this game. Eh. Not, also not a huge fan of her. I mean, I'm, I mean, it's kind of, I guess... Because one thing that is always weird in Pokemon games, right? Is that all the champions are, like, fucking, like, adults. And they always get their ass beat by, like, a 10-year-old kid who started their journey, you know, like, two days ago. But, so that is kind of interesting to see, like, another young trainer as champion. But at the same time, I'm just not really a huge fan of her. And then Six Gen has Dianthea. She's she's got to be the worst champion, I think. It's like her or Wallace. They they both kind of suck. Um, and then I've never beat Sun and Moon. I guess I guess Sun and Moon does even have a champion. I guess not, right? I think maybe the the, the second version, Ultra Sun and Moon, apparently has like an Elite Four in it, so maybe there's a champion there. I don't know. What we're gonna do, I think we're going to lead with. I mean, Cheshire is actually a good lead. Cheshire Idea. Because Idea should outspeed Metagross. We go for the Earthquake. Earthquake probably won't kill Metagross. But. Yo, let's actually. Let's, let's initiate the battle with Wallace this time. What does he have to say? It's so lovely to watch other people in Pokemon interacting with the other. Yes, there's little Pokemon love more than battling. Would you be willing to battle in a... Wait, what? I can't read Wallace. He's He just threw me off my fucking game, man. Yo, first video of the day. I'm a little out of it. It's been... It's been a decent bit. Well, I recorded one video yesterday. Because basically... I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it yesterday. And I've got, like, such a huge backlog of recordings that there's no point in, like, forcing myself to record if I don't feel like it. Because, I mean, part 12 was the last video of this series to go up. 
there's still almost there's like 25 parts of trails left i've got like seven videos of xcom recorded i've got several videos of the super secret lp recorded uh so earthquake it up and thunderbolt it up now we just gotta hope Milotic doesn't uh, destroy us with a hydro pump i think i don't think he can kill us even with a hydro pump rain dance Ooh, that's annoying. That's really annoying because of Ludicolo. Ludicolo. If anything that's maybe worth switching Edea out back in, then that's going to be too difficult. That's going to take like three turns to do, plus Edea's dead. So. Maybe? No, there's no way. If you didn't have a life or maybe. I think we already. I think he, that's how he killed Edia last turn. So, but a, a Metagross is pretty weak now. So he's gonna send out Starmie. His Starmie's gonna Hydro Pump Cheshire and potentially kill. And we can Sucker Punch Starmie. But honestly, I don't know if I want Ludicolo out there with this Swift Swim and ass. Granted, Starmie's just faster than our team anyway, so it's kind of the same situation. I really need to take Metagross out. And there's two ways we can do it. We can have a more appealing target in the form of Tambora. Because that means he won't Hydro Pump Cheshire. And even if he does, then Tambora can take. So Metagross is dead. Here's some way, somehow, there's no way he loses to this. And Cheshire... Wait, we should just Shadow, because it's actually Psychic type, right? Well, I think Tambora just shit on me. Uh, okay, that, wow, that did very little damage, actually. How did that not kill Metagross? Wait, what? Why is Metagross still alive? He was at half HP and he got hit by a fucking lava plume from Tambora. Well, shit, that's actually really bad. Oh, the life orb, okay, because I was good. He's gonna heal up. Okay, so we're already doing better. So he know we're gonna, he's gonna send out Ludicolo, Ludicolo. And we don't know what Steven has. Probably Armaldo and maybe Cradilly still? Those are like the three... Those are... Okay, Holion. So he, it is not based on his original team. I mean, I think you Thunderbolt his ass. Or should we focus on Ludicolo? Um... I think Tambor is getting iced by Hydropoke. Actually, I think what we do is we switch out into Aurora and save Tambora's life, and then you air slash Ludicolo. Because Aurora should be able to live through a Hydro Pump fairly decent. Okay, well. Well, wait, how did Hydro Pump. Doesn't it have 100 accuracy in the rain? I've always thought it had 100 accuracy in the rain. So, uh, that was actually a legit move. Now, Aurora's gonna get Aqua Jetted. That's just the way things go. Okay, or not. Stupid Ludicolo. Do, like, all their Pokemon have Life Orbs? Wait, they said, like, a full fucking team was a six all Life Orbers? Let's see. Uh, nah, only two Pokemon have life orbs actually, just Ludicolo and Metagross. And I did, so his last Pokemon is a Claydol. So it is Empoleon and Claydol. Can we take those out with our remaining Pokemon? Possibly? Honestly, I think what you do here is by virtue of this being a two on one fight now, Tambora, you're dead. You're gonna get Hydro Pumped and die. 
Odette air, air tailwinds. Yo, will tailwind make him faster? I don't actually know if that works. I think he's just faster than Napoleon. Napoleon's not that fast of a Pokemon. So that, uh... That was not what I expected to happen. But that's actually perfectly fine. So I think that just means we win regardless. Which one of you is faster, by the way? You're 192, so Tambora will go first. Like, it doesn't matter, because right? it's we're not going to be able to hit his next Pokemon anyway. Well, no, don't don't go for the Poison Jab. I was thinking, uh, I don't know, I've still got like the, the Colosseum slash XD rules, where whenever you kill a Pokemon, they instantly send out their next thing. It doesn't like end the turn. Because I was thinking, I was, I was trying to line it up so that uh, our attack would hit Claydol when he came out, but it does not work like that in the mainline games. So I think you just uh, sucker punch his ass. Oh god, but see, if he earthquakes us, do we just lose? I should have gone for the fire attack. Okay. Uh, shit, he still has his Hyper Potion. No! Ah, uh, shit. He's still got a dang old, dang old Hyper... Okay, never mind. He does not have a Hyper Potion. Wait, what? Why did that do such little damage? What is wrong with Timbora? And then he... Cr uh, fucking Rain Dance, you dumbass. We literally had victory and threw it away. This has to burn for us to have any chance of winning. We need a crit. We need a crit, or maybe if it burns, Psychic won't kill us. That's literally as close as you can get to a victory without winning. It's like... He lived with 1 HP. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm really not, because that, that's like so comical that I can't even be mad. If I had just gone for the Psychic instead of the stupid Lava Flume. Oh my god, we're back at... Oh, I, I hate the whole... <laughs> How many times are we going to get screwed by the, you didn't rest the Pokemon Center and then you instantly died because we're going to send you back to the last town and you got to fly back over here. Okay, so we'll win for sure this time. I see no, unless, well, actually, no, 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 we didn't get any crits that time, so I think we should be fine. Because it was, it was the, I'm thinking of the Cynthia fight where we only won because we got the crit on Garchomp. So, I think we just want to lead basically do the exact same thing. Just trying to remember if we can do everything the same, except, you know, instead of using Lava Bloom while Rain Dance is up. Really, it'd be good if we could prevent Rain Dance from getting up, actually. But, I don't know if that's really feasible. Maybe if we paralyze my Lodic. Go for the straight up earthquake. Go for the. Hmm. I'm trying to think of. I mean, we could let Milotic live. Honestly, that's probably better. Just try and take out Metagross. Because Metagross is probably the only Pokemon he has that can straight up one shot Idea. Well, maybe Rain Dance Hydro Pump actually can. Yeah, because we don't have the same stream bonus. Or the Sandstorm defense bonus anymore, so. A regular Hydro Pump should definitely kill. Okay, he is sending out the Clay Dolls right off the bat. 
No, Idea, I mean, Milotic's gonna Hydro Pump Idea. And then I think, no, do not Psychic. Shadow Ball, Clay Doll. That, I don't know, that shouldn't kill, because Clay Doll's very defensive, but it should hurt. Oh, it actually did straight up one shot. The power of the Life Orb. Two can play at that game. Yeah, Idea has been diced. Iced, diced, smoked, destroyed. But she did her job. So his, what was his other Pokemon? It was Empoleon. I don't really feel good about sending out all the old Tambors. Uh, how do we want to do this? I'm trying to think. I think we save Glenn for Starmie to Sucker Punch. So we send out Odette. Do you Tailwind here or do you just Air Slash? I think you Air Slash. And then you Thunderbolt Milotic, which should kill. And you're faster. And then maybe Air Slash. I mean. Well, let's see. Will that kill? I think it will, right? Yeah, it did. Now, maybe Air Slash will flinch him. Yeah, it didn't do very much. Today. Oh, okay. That's weird. I could have sworn Hydro Pump had 100 accuracy in the rain. Maybe that's just like an older version? Let's go. Thunder? What? Well, goodbye, Debt. You have been de Oh, yeah, it's Thunder that has 100 accuracy in the rain. Maybe I've that's not good enough. I thought it was both, though. Hmm. Okay, so now he is on his last two Pokemon. And we have, what, three left? Or do we have two left? We still have Tambora, Aurora, and Glenn. So now he's gonna send out Ludicolo. Ludicolo. Who we have no way to kill. Actually, now that I think about it. We've got Aurora, basically. We got Glenn. Glenn with, uh, Poison Jab? Granted, will he live through a Hydro Pump? A Life Orb Hydro Pump. I'd say the outcome is improbable, so we're going to go for the Sucker Punch. Ice Beam, maybe we'll just straight up freeze him. He's going to take out Glenn. That did good damage. I think Ice Beam should finish him all. Yeah, okay, we made the right play there, because he's going to take Life Orb damage. Ice Beam, that should definitely do half. So now it is Tambora and Aurora versus Empoleon. Hydro Pump will not kill us. I said it will, it will not. It will not kill us. It will not. Okay, thank you. So then, with these Pokemon are both faster. I don't think Empoleon can live through a, a Thunderbolt Earth Power. And even if he does, he can't take out both of them because he doesn't know Surf. Absolutely dusted. So now we have beaten champions of well, two different regions. We've beaten three champions of two regions. And we got $22,000. You, I had no idea you were so strong. Actually, aren't you the new champion of the Unova League? That would explain it. You got anything to say? Okay, no, you just... Well, we're not gonna battle him again to see what Wallace says when you win. So, we'll just, uh... Call it there. So, that did take long enough. There was another battle I was thinking about doing in this video, but... Since we're probably at about almost, like, 35 minutes, we're, we'll go ahead and cut things off here. Uh... Next time, we will do... A couple of the last remaining... 
special battles, at least one of them, and then I think we'll make progress towards unlocking the other one. So yeah, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 stay tuned for the next part, and bye guys.